Hello everyone, I'm Tess coming to you from Clay County Historical and Arts Council. Welcome back to another Artist Spotlight. Today we're with Ashley Scanlon. Ashley, thank you so much for having us today. Thanks for being here. Uh, Ashley's craft company name is Designs by Drew and I'll let you know right away that her, you can find her on Facebook just by searching Designs by Drew. Ashley, how long have you been in the area? I've been in the area since 2019. 2019. And when did you start crafting? 2020, 2021-ish. And can you tell us where we're going to be uh, watching you craft today? So I do a whole bunch of stuff. I do resin, I do sublimation and everything. Um, today we are going to be doing a skinny duo tubbler. comes with a regular lid and then a flip top sports lid. And we are going to be doing alcohol inks on it today. Nice. I can't wait to see this. So, um, you do stuff from ornaments to blankets to speaker cups, baby bottles, um, several different kinds of sports drink bottles. Um, water bottles, water candles, bottles, you name candles. it, I do it. There are glass, plastic, and stainless steel drink cups. So, I'm really excited to show you those, but, um... I want to let you know that Ashley, although I'm trying to talk her into being at the Festival on the Square, she was already obligated for the Murphy Farmer's Market on that weekend. So, but you can find her in Blairsville this April 1st at the Spring Market and Craft Fair in Blairsville. And then starting April 8th through October, every Saturday she'll be at the Murphy's Farmer's Market. And then on Fridays, I will also be doing the Murphy Art Walk. Oh, nice. So I just found out that we will be doing that again this year. Sorry. So Fridays at Murphy Art Walk, Saturdays at Murphy Car uh, Farmer's Market. Yes, it's the okay. first, first Friday of every month starting in May. Okay. She'll also be at the John C. Campbell Folk School this fall at the Fall Craft Fair. That's a Saturday and Sunday event, two day only. So I am going to let you see Ashley in action here. And we'll pause for one moment. All right, so this is a 20 ounce, like I said, it's a dual duo tumbler. It comes with two different types of lids. It comes with a sports lid that has a carabiner clip on it and a flip top lid with a straw attached. And then it has another lid that slides open that you can have a straw inside as well. It's one of those multi-purpose. Are you hiking or are you just driving around in the car type thing? Right. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to get a good layer of resin on here. It looks like you've got some sparkle in there. That's pretty. It is. It's actually the, the paint that I put on the base of this is an emerald green, like a truck type paint. It's a paint that they use on um, automobiles, actually. But it was the color that was picked out by the customer, because this is actually going to be a custom cup that we're doing today. So, sorry folks, this one's already sold. <laughs> So now you're just smoothing that out, that first layer of resin. Mm -hmm. Well, We're smooth it out to where it's completely coating the entire, the entire cup here, which is a wonderful thing. You can just do it with a gloved finger. So I recent, I just recently started doing the alcohol inks. I've had them forever, and I've always been kind of scared to mess with them. And I finally sat there and I said, you know what? You never know unless you try. So I sat down one day and I did a baby bottle. And I just absolutely loved how it turned out. So I was like, hmm, yeah, this is, this is my new obsession. I can see why looking at some of your products. There's some beautiful designs. And then... Also, you can do the, what's it called? Sublimation? Sublimation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. So, sublimation, I have a special printer that has special ink and special paper. 
and what it is is it's a heat it's a heat ink and a heat paper so I print the image out in a mirror and everything so that when I put it on the heat press back there because you put it down you know design down it'll actually come out facing the correct direction um, I do blankets bibs shirts ornaments cups the cups don't go on the heat press though right. they go in the oven oh neat <laughs> so, so but, what, um, what type of oven uh that right there is just a regular oyster um convection oven convection okay the the one thing is though is once you start using it for sublimation you don't use it for food ever again right yeah it's it's once it once it's once you use it for sublimation that's it's dedicated. I made, let's see here, we've made blankets for a customer here not too long ago. It was for Valentine's Day. And it had their relationship, their engagement, their wedding, and all that stuff on it. What a great way to keep your memories. I do nine panels and 20 panels. I did another one that was a 20 panel. Um, they were expecting a baby. So, and they already had one child, so we did their dating, their wedding, the first child, name, date of birth, all that good stuff in there, uh, pregnancy pictures that they brought me, babies, baby born pictures, all sorts of stuff. That's fantastic. So, it actually it turned out pretty, pretty good. Alright, so we got some bubbles here, so we're going to hit that with the air gun here real quick to pop these bubbles. It really is already so pretty. That can go away. The one thing I like about this paint is it kind of already has a sparkle in it, so I right. don't have to add any glitter to it. Because she wanted it sparkly. So now we're going to start right here with this olive gold, and we're just going to put some drops. Just random little drops everywhere. Now I know that Pretty. doesn't look like much, but we'll get there so the theme of this cup is kind of like a Harry Potter type coloration theme so I think it's gonna look pretty cool I haven't seen one that doesn't they all look fantastic I'm just loving this I mean there really is no wrong way to do it Some on the bottom over there. Now, even though the cup is already green, that's a darker green, isn't that? It's pretty. It's a different color green, and then once I put the white on, it'll help make that green pop. Oh, yeah. Some of that white got on that dark green, and it almost looks like mm -hmm. sea foam. So pretty. All right. So now we're going to make it turn the other direction. Maybe. There we go. And that'll start moving the other way now. What I'm right now doing is adding a little bit more of clear resin to the top. It helps the colors blend a little differently than they would if I had just left it with the resin that was initially on the cup. So you see right. it now. Yeah, it's already starting with the marbly. Like what we're going to do is we're just going to just drag. Just 
make some little slimes. Wow. Look at that. And then we're going to make it turn the other way again. And we're just going to let that sit there for a little while. And let it, you see it moving around. Moving, yes. Oh, wow. And it'll decide to make its own little design. Oh, that's amazing. That's so pretty. Okay. Well, we're going to let that do its magic. And we'll pause here. And we'll start showing you some of uh, Ashley's product. So stand by. Ashley, tell us about what you're holding now. All right, so this is an eight ounce baby bottle with stainless steel. This is actually the third baby bottle I did when I decided that I started like playing with the alcohol inks. A lot of fun. Um, it has a regular baby nipple top. It has handles to help the baby hold it. The wonderful thing I like about this particular type of baby bottle is it has a weight on the bottom so that no matter where the liquid is, the weight helps hold it so that you don't get as much air when the babies are drinking. And, and does it have a, an additional piece you can purchase for when they go from baby to toddler? I do have an extra lid for this. It's a, a light lime green color. It's $5. Um, and it's a flip top lid that has a straw that goes down inside and it goes well. It still works with these handles, helps make the color on this particular baby bo bottle pop real, real nicely. And I can also put baby's name on it and any colors you want. Or date of birth or date anything. Date of birth, yeah. weight, length, anything. Anything you want on it, I can put on it. Completely customizable. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of your other products that you do? So another thing that I have is we're going to do this one right here. This is actually the same thing that I've got that we're working on right now, but this is a 30 ounce. This is another duo tumbler, and it has the flip top connected to a straw on the inside. It has the carabiner to where you can clip it, clip it to your backpack. And then it has a regular slide lid that you can put a regular straw in. Now, does as that well. one come with both lids, or is that an additional five? The also? duos come with both lids, and as can, you can see, this I want to bring right it here, real close, yeah, because this has actually got some dragons in it. If you look through this cup, there are so many dragons on this cup. It's amazing. Which is really awesome because I really like dragons. So right, I know a lot of people work, that it, do. Yes, well, they totally say dragons are good it. luck. So when I see dragons showing up in my cups and stuff like that, that means that I'm I'm doing something right somewhere. Right? It's coming through. So, so is that one that you said was already sold? Oh, no, the one that's No, on the, the one that we're working on right now is the one that's already <clears throat> sold. Okay. This one is available for purchase. Um, another 30 ounce that I have is a glitter base 30 ounce. This that's is my gorgeous. Sunset Galaxy. Oh, that's beautiful. I love how it transitions from night to day. And then this actually has the same type of lid that the Duo, the other lid that the Duo comes with. It just doesn't screw in and it has this slide. So that's just a pop in? Yeah, it just pops. And they have a nice, wonderful rubber seal on this. If you have it closed and you turn it upside down, it will not leak. Nice. I have tested this. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, so pretty. But yes, this one actually is a sublimated tumbler on a glitter base. The, the tumbler is already glittered. It's glittered with gold glitter. And then it's also covered. I like to cover my cups in resin because it, I feel that it helps preserve the picture. And it also kind of adds like a little thin layer of insulation to kind of help keep your drinks cold. And Even protect these, the picture too. Yeah, and protect the picture. Not to mention, that, I mean, these, these are stainless steel double walled. So, I mean, they already keep your drinks pretty cold. But, hey, An extra can never layer have can't a cold hurt. drink too cold. Right. So. So pretty. And then this one has a holographic base. Ooh. And oh, look see, at that. It's like it's jumping right off of the cup. Beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. And this is one of my 20 ounce cups. 
again with the slide lid that pops yes, in. Yes, it has a it has a pop in slide lid there. I have another type of this one. You can actually see more of the holographic in it because and it doesn't have as much scent. color. Oh, so pretty! And it has the little tiger. It's like opalescent or something. Mm -hmm. Pretty, beautiful tiger. Then I also have what's called a clear sublimation. And basically what it is, is instead of it being a white background with it, I'm putting everything on, it's stainless steel. So I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully the light's shining off of it just right. This is a castle in a moon. It's a nighttime scene. And I'm hoping that that is picking up good. Beautiful big moon in that castle. Huge, huge moon. Gorgeous. So pretty. So that turned out really nice. All right. So those are my stainless steel cups. I have a couple of glass options um, available as well. I have both sublimation and things that I do alcohol inks on. This one right here is one that I've done an alcohol ink on. This is so pretty. A 16 ounce glass cup. It comes with a bamboo lid and a straw, and it does have a very nice rubber seal on the inside. This is a, it's called a shimmering glass because as you can see, it kind of has a little bit of Shine glitter there, in yeah. there. And that turned out beautifully. It looks mystical. I love purples and blues. Oh, so pretty, <laughs> yes. So, beautiful but this work. is one of my 16 ounce glasses. Then I also do candles, glass candles. This one actually has this one actually has a sister, so this has a matching set. It comes with a bamboo lid again with the rubberized seal. You can get it with or without wax. Some people like plastic tea lights, some people like real candles, some people like scented candles, some people don't want scented candles, so I can actually do any and all of those. And this one is another one that was done with the alcohol inks, as you can see. So pretty. It's just little swirls. I love it. And they all turn out different. One thing that I offer that's really, really, really big with the kids is my water bottles. This is one of my Halloween water bottles. It has a little Halloween decoration on it. And everything. Is that a wrist strap on the top? This is a carabiner strap okay. where you can get a carabiner and carabine it to your backpack, to your belt loop. Belt. And then I also offer water bottles. I've done a oh, lot for nice. school and stuff like that with different characters and stuff like that. And then when they put them at school and stuff, you have their name on them. Perfect. So nobody can say the, it's theirs. Exactly. And a lot of the <laughs> schools are sitting there saying that they have to have clear water bottles now. So these actually, as far as I know, I do have actual clear ones. But as far as I know, I have the uh, light blue tint and a light red, almost pinkish tint. But since it is see-through, the schools haven't been complaining because water is still water and water is still clear. They basically want to make sure that the kids aren't drinking the soda all day. I see. Oh, and, stuff. Soda, and it can yeah. also have one of the carabiner strappy type lids on it as well. So you can get either lid for the mm -hmm. water bottles? Mm -hmm. One of the other things I do other than cups and stuff like that is I do bibs, um, t-shirts, uh, drink cozies. And, and the stuff. beautiful blanket. And the I'm beautiful excited to see this. Blankets. Now, right. this one is not done. This is a blank, so I can give you an idea. They are both the same size. This is a nine panel blanket. I offer them a nine and in 20. Meaning they can get nine pictures or 20 pictures, or they can have one picture that is- And repeat it. <laughs> or like even just sectioned off, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be one big scene. Look how soft and shimmery. So this is a 50 by 60. That's the perfect size. It's basically, it's the same size as your normal little throw blanket that you would buy at any of the big chain stores and stuff like that. 
And so on the one you were talking about, you did for Valentine's, so each panel would have had a different, had a different picture, different picture of the it. dating and the mm -hmm. marriage and the children and their mm -hmm. dates of birth and oh, any yeah. siblings. So it could be like a whole family heirloom. Let's take a look at this tumbler over here and see how we're looking on the spinner. You can see a lot of oh, it is look at that. moved around yes. and created all sorts of neat, cool, nifty stuff. Oh, wow. And the funny thing is, is this will keep moving until the resin actually starts to sit. It will slowly still move. And, excuse me, the design will change a little bit between now and the time that it is done. Look at that. So cool. Ashley, this has been a wonderful time spending time with you today and watching you uh, create these beautiful uh, designs. And again, designs by Drew. You can find her on Facebook. Ashley, thank you so much for having us today. And maybe next year you can come to Festival on the Square. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us again for Artists by Life from Clay County Historical and Arts Council, folks. We'll see you next time.